Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be taking a look at solar performance ported throttle bodies for Chevy Colorado and GMC Canyon. So I've teamed up with Solar Performance here to do a review and an install video for their ported throttle body for the Chevy Colorado and GMC Canyon 3.6 liter motors. They have a throttle body that will fit the LFX 2015 and 2016 motor and then they also have a throttle body that will fit the 2017 plus LGZ motor. No matter what year Colorado or Canyon, as long as you got the V6, you can take advantage of their throttle body. So this is their throttle body. I'm not gonna go into depth right now. First, I'm gonna pull the old throttle body out of the truck. That way we can look at the OEM one and their model side by side. So let's dig in. So this is a 2019 3.6 liter V6. This is an LGZ variant, which has been in the Colorado and the Canyon since 2017. The LFX V6 will be very, very similar in installation. So you can follow these steps pretty closely. First thing you need to do is disconnect your negative battery cable. Over here on the right side of the motor is your battery. Here is your negative battery cable. It's a 10 millimeter. So just go ahead and remove that and set it aside. Next, we're gonna disconnect the earbox here and then also this vent hose on the top of the intake. It's an eight millimeter socket that'll take these off really easily. Just peel these back enough so that you can loosen the hose on the tube and peel it off. And just disconnect that just like so. The other hose I'm talking about is this one right here next to the intake tube. It's another eight millimeter socket. Just pop that off the intake like that. Next, go ahead and remove the oil fill cap right here on the right side of the engine cover and just set it aside. And then we're going to need to remove a screw that's down in this hole right here. It's a 10 millimeter screw that's holding the front of the intake cover on. You can see down in there the screw. There's another screw on the left side of the intake straight there down below that vent hose that we removed earlier, also a 10 millimeter. There's also one more screw on the back side of the cover here, also a 10 millimeter that needs to be removed. There is a tube right here that is connected from the engine to the intake tube that we need to disconnect. You just depress that gray tab and then it will be able to be popped off of the stud. And actually there's one more step guys. We need to disconnect the tube on the engine cover from the throttle body itself on the right side of the engine. So take your eight millimeter and go ahead and loosen that clamp. Once you have all that all done, you should be able to pop off the engine cover now. And just for reference, guys, this is what the engine cover is. It's basically just a big intake tube with a fancy cover on it. Nothing really that special. Now that we've revealed the throttle body, we can go ahead and remove it. First step we want to do is disconnect the harness that's on the left side. There is a locking tab on top that you need to open up. And then you can depress it and pop that connector off. Then there are just four bolts here that are holding the throttle body in place and you're going to use your same 10 millimeter and remove all those four screws. Then you can pop that throttle body off very easily, just like that. And we'll go set this on the bench. Also, it's a good idea, just reinstall your oil cap while you're working, just so you don't accidentally drop something down into your engine. And for anyone who's curious what the inside of the intake manifold looks like on a Chevy Colorado or GMC Canyon 3.6, that's what it looks like. Looks like it has some veins on the inside that help smooth the air out, maybe, after it gets through the throttle body. Here's the comparison of the two throttle bodies on the workbench. On the right, we've got the Solar Performance 76mm throttle body, and then on the left, we've got the factory-equipped GM 
throttle body. Now, Solar does manufacture their throttle bodies from OEM new parts, and then they just rework them themselves. You do have a few options. You can buy a brand new reworked part, or you can do a core exchange where you buy a new part that's reworked, and then you install that on your vehicle, and then you send them back your old throttle body as a core exchange. And then also you can do a rework of your own part where you remove your own throttle body, send it to them, they'll rework it, and then they'll send it back and you can reinstall it on your vehicle. This is an OEM 72 millimeter throttle body that's been bored out to 76 millimeters. Then they also offer an 80 millimeter throttle body that's been bored out to 84 millimeters. That also includes an adapter kit to install on your V6. The stock throttle body, like I said, is a 72 millimeter. We can see some differences right away, right from the start. On the solar, they've removed that bar that goes across the face here, and there's just two domed screws. As you can see on the OEM, there's that bar with the screws. My thoughts are that this improves airflow going into the engine when the throttle is opened up. On the back sides of the throttle bodies, they look very similar at first glance, but the solar has these screw heads that are flush with this bar here compared to the OEM ones, which there's like two or three threads sticking up above. The solar throttle throttle body also features some active contours on the top side of that throttle body. You can just barely kind of see them in the camera. There's some cutouts along the top. You can especially see them right there and then also right there and you can feel them with your finger. This is to help that smoother, more linear acceleration and better performance off idle. Compared to the OEM, which doesn't have those cutouts, you can see there. Solar Performance Diamond polishes their throttle body surfaces, so this is super smooth on the inside here, all the way up here to the edge of their throttle body. On the factory one, it's only really polished up to here, and this lip is rough, and there's actually like a lip right here. Just another added benefit of the Solar. Another benefit with all of these modifications that Solar does, you're going to have better throttle curve, so it's going to be more linear as opposed to where it kind of ramps up as you push more throttle. You're gonna have lower weight to power ratio because they have removed some material here and I'm assuming their blade here is a little bit lighter than the factory one so it makes the performance a little bit better. You're gonna get more immediate throttle response off idle. Also the best benefit of this thing is there's no tuning required. Obviously there's always benefits to be added with tuning but they do not require any tuning. So let's get the solar performance into the truck and see how she runs. I also just want to make note, my truck has about 12,500 miles on it. The inside of the throttle body does have some buildup. Not terrible, but it's not super clean like, you know, a brand new vehicle. And that's to be expected. I just wanted to point that out. One more thing I want to point out is Solar Performance manufactures these in Alabama in the United States of America. One thing I want to note before we get started here is there is a gasket on the intake manifold right here, this green rubber part. You want to make sure that is intact and is sitting in the correct spot here. It should not move when you remove the old one, but just double check that it's sit, sitting in the gland that's all around the throttle body here. Then we're going to take our Solar Performance throttle body and start threading in those screws. Now I've got all four bolts just kind of hand tight. I'm gonna go around and tighten them all with the ratchet. You don't need to go crazy torquing these down, just get them nice and snug and solid. Once you have those bolts tightened, you can go ahead and reinstall the connector on the side, make sure you re-depress the locking tab. Reinstalling the intake cover is just the reverse of taking it off. You need to first hook up the tube on the throttle body, and then you need to line up all the three holes on those screws that we removed, and also line up the tube for the intake box, this tube for one of the vents, and also reconnect the tube on the back for one of the vents as well. So just roughly get it in place first, then start lining everything up.
Then lastly, you can reconnect your negative battery cable. All right, everyone, so once you get the throttle body installed, there is a short calibration that you need to do on your vehicle. It's very easy. It just takes a couple different steps. First, you need to start the vehicle and let it idle for three minutes, and then turn the vehicle off, let it sit for another minute, start it back up, let it idle again for three more minutes, turn it off again for another minute. And after you do that, you need to drive it for 50 to 100 miles between five or so different startups. Typically your normal driving, you'll be able to get it calibrated, but it takes time for the ECU to recognize the new air incoming on the throttle body. You'll notice right away once the ECU starts picking it up, I was actually really surprised. At first I wasn't noticing much of a difference after the first, I don't know, 50 or so miles. And then one day I got in it and drove it and really started to notice the performance increasing, especially the smoother idling, the more linear acceleration curve, and the off idle performance like it was night and day difference almost it was really really cool after you do all those calibrations and drive it for a little bit you'll notice the benefits be sure to visit the solar performance website i will leave a link in the description box below where you can purchase this product also if you like this video give it a thumbs up love it if you subscribed happy new year to everyone it's january 1st that i'm posting this video so i hope everyone had a safe and healthy new year stay tuned for more videos later